What up, guys? We're back. We just ran into an old friend, Kenny, which is pretty, pretty cool. Like, pretty cool in my opinion. I don't know why I said Cole, but it's sick actually running into like someone from the old episode that used to that used to run away from season one. Right. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. It used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Oh, look at this place, man. It's all nice. Kenny actually seems pretty happy right now. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I don't really want to talk about him. Sorry, darling. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand, and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. It's been a long time alone after. And I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I am kind of curious if Kenny knows anything about like Carter or anything like that. Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? 
We're making some beans, man. So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people, it's so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. I managed just fine. Now you really do sound like one of my students. And you sound like a teacher. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. Let's see what we got here. Which is... Uh. I guess just because I'm a little girl, they see the resemblance. The resemblance. CD player? Ah, uh, no, nah, I'm gonna pass on that. Reminds me of school. I'm not trying to turn that on and actually like hear some problems. Let's go talk to Sarah or Sarita. My bad. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas. But I still love the decorations. Find a tree topper. What? What a funny little guy. Oh, <laughs> a duck. What is this? That's a map. Let's see, where's this tree topper at? I don't think be at the top of the stairs, maybe, right? I don't know, let me go check it out. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Can be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Oh. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. You guys better not try anything crazy, man. Kenny's my boy. Oh, there's that tree. I mean, there's the top of the, the ornament. The tree topper. That's nice, I guess. 
beautiful. Oh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. I wonder why she would remember that. I guess, like, maybe I could add the option to actually give her the star to do it. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. When is Matthew coming back? He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Are they still up here? Well, I know, uh, what's it called, still up here? It's not Rebecca. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking you. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Whose is it then? How will I tell her about it? I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. I just need to get some food in me. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Yeah, there's already enough problems out there, man. You don't want to get him all pissed off knowing it's not his kid and stuff. You okay, man? Yeah, oops. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here. Actually getting a decent meal in their body now. Oh, you're going to have the option to sit next to Kenny. Oh, man. What's going down? Sybil, Luke, or Kenny? Uh... Oh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to sit with Kenny, man. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Oh, shit. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. They can stay too. No. Honey. Hey, 
Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Damn. There are lots of land and cold-ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clown? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Holy shit, dude. I think you're going to have the decision to go with Kenny or leave with your group now. Pass me that can, Duck. Oh. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Damn, dude. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. Yeah, I don't know how to answer that. I'm just going to let it go. Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. I don't want to leave my group, man, but I don't want to leave Kenny at the same time. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? I read him? I don't even know what you're talking about. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right, man. Always got to think smart, man. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. It's nothing. Forget it. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bum. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. 
How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Yeah, this guy's way too nice, man. Little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I... I don't know. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh shit, that was Matthew. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay. Okay, good. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but... I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? Luke's right. You can't tell him. Listen to her, okay? It's fucking crazy. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Holy shit, man. You make some crazy decisions. Like, you kind of want to help that guy out because he's friends with Kenny and all, but, like, you kind of want to help this new group out, too. Damn, I didn't even know, man. Oh, it's missing. It's gone. Oh, shit, he got it. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this next episode. This episode, guys, I can't wait for the next one, man. It's going to be sick. I already know it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.